In this lesson, I'm going to use Spinner to customize the incrementing app you created earlier. So in this UI, I have a text view, a spinner, and a button. The spinner, the width is wrapping the content. For the strings, I now have an array called increment array, and I have values 1 to 8. I could add more items. Let's add two more items. So I have item 1 to 10. So let's run this. If I click sum, it adds one value each. If I change it to 4, it begins to add a value of 4. If I begin to add 10, it begins to add a value of 10 to the values. You could as well add 8, and it adds 8. So how does this work? Let's go to the code. So here is the code. So initially, I have my text view, which has an ID of txt sum. The spinner has an ID of spinner, and the sum button has an ID of button sum, btn sum. So I reference all of them, bind them by the ID. Then like we did earlier, I got the array adapter set the drop down view resource and then set the click listener on the spinner the difference is once an item is selected i assign the selected item to a variable called current increment so above i have two variables current increment and the total sum when the application starts initially and nothing is selected the selected listener is still called, but then the first element is passed in, which is 1. So that is why when the application is started initially and I click sum, it adds 1. Even though I didn't really click on 1, it actually selects the first value automatically. So that is why even though current increment does not have a value here, it is going to be called at the first run. After that, it will take in any other value I select, like 4. Once I select 4, it calls the listener and assigns 4 to the current increment. Now, I also put a click listener on the button, so that once the button is clicked, the current increment is added to the sum and the total sum is displayed on the text view. We have this effect. So now we have another app to beat Facebook. Just kidding. We still have much more to learn. Hope to see you in the next lesson.